You know, listen to this story. This is quite amazing. I took a trip on the Amazon, and we stopped in this village. It didn't even have any roads. And there's a girl who's sitting in there, and she's practicing a nylon string guitar. So I listen for a while, and then we say to her, I say, I know a South American song, and I play... And she says, I know an American song. I say, really? Yeah. She goes... <laughs> this is Malcolm Gladwell. That's Paul Simon talking to me and my friend and colleague Bruce Hedlum. A moment I never believed could happen. I've been a fan all my life. The very first pop music I ever remember hearing was Simon and Garfunkel. It was 1970. I was seven. And now, 50 years later, here he was, having lunch with me. I asked him, what do you think of sitting down and having an extended conversation about your career? You know what? I'm going to stand. I'm going to stand up. He liked the idea. It's going to be better. I think this is going to be a no contest, but let's just check the two guitars against each other for sound. I enlisted my oldest friend Bruce Hedlum to help with the interviewing because Bruce knows a lot more about music than I do. What do I think? I think the second one is the Martin, and the first one is your favorite guitar. Is it Gurian? Yeah. We met nine times. We'd listen to music, and Paul would play and tell stories. Each conversation lasted four, sometimes five hours. Mrs. Robinson was uh, a little snatch of blues. Singing, talking. That's a lick that's not too different from... Arguing, teaching... See the girl with the diamond ring. So we took all these conversations and wove them into something entirely new. It's part memoir, part biography, part investigation into the heart of creativity. I have no anxiety about running out of ideas. You don't have that at all? No. I think another idea? You want another idea? Okay, here's another, here's another idea. In our time with him... Paul talked about doo-wop and Queens and his dad and a million other things. I thought that the idea of Earth Angel was so lyrically spectacular. I can remember trying to explain it to my father. Do you get it? An Earth Angel. <laughs> what he thinks of all the different cover versions of his songs, about the countless people he's collaborated with over the years. I learned early on that you can't ask musicians to write in somebody else's handwriting. And about the day... He hung it all up. After I finished the album, Stranger to Stranger, it was uh, like literally a click that said, I'm done. But you weren't done. No, I wasn't. This is Paul Simon, as you've never heard him before. The stories and songs behind an unbelievable life in music. Pull up your chair. And listen in. Slip sliding away. There's still Slip the big mystery of why this away. happens, and it's just a great mystery. I, I you love it. I love that mystery. The more you're slip sliding away. You can buy Miracle and Wonder at MiracleAudiobook.com, Audible, and everywhere audiobooks are sold. My hometown. You wore his passion for his